Okay, everybody, Peter, 630 e-bikes and bikes. Today, we're gonna to talk about your favorite topic, power. It's been said that power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Well, we've seen a lot of that in the world, but in the world of e-bikes, power is usually a good thing. Some people don't want more power, but a lot of people do. And why do you want more power, and what does it mean? What do we mean when we talk about power? Well, there's different ways of thinking about power. Okay, you can think about power as how much oomph you get. You can also talk about power in terms of how much you have in terms of capacity. And on the battery, the battery will tell you. The battery is gonna come in different volts, which is gonna mean how much like absolute power you have to drive that machine forward, okay? So if you have less power, it's like having a less powerful car, so you won't be able to accelerate quite as fast. Or, and then if you have a more powerful one, it's like having a race car. <clears throat> you can just, you can spin out on your e-bike and leave some, leave some donuts on the, on the parking lot. So anyway, you could, uh, you could get options from like a 36 volt, 48 volt, 52 volt battery. There are other options as well. This is the most common, 36, 48, and 52. And that will be how much power you're delivering to your motor, whether it is a rear drive in the rear wheel, front drive in the front wheel, or a mid drive. Uh, ours is in the rear wheel. And so you wanna look at volts for how much power you're getting. And that, like I said, is kind of in terms of whether you're getting like, eh, an economy sedan or a gas saver compared to a race car or Lamborghini or other sports car. So the volts will be how much oomph you get. When you're looking at how much capacity you have, how big your gas tank is, then you're looking at amp hours, okay? Basically amp hours is how much capacity you have, but the two are also related, and when you multiply them together, you get a thing called watt hours, which is another way to measure capacity. On a 48 volt by 10.4 amp hour battery like this one is, you're gonna have about 500 watt hours. That's about half a kilowatt hour, which is a pretty good amount. On, on a 500 watt hour battery like this one is, 48 volt by 10.4 amp hours, you're gonna get, depending on conditions, anywhere between 20 to 35, 40 miles. Okay, it's gonna depend a lot on how much throttle you use, if you're going up and down hills, how, much, how windy it is, how much you weigh, how often you accelerate, and um, let's see. Hilly, yeah, windy, other conditions like that. So, uh, oh, how much you pedal and how much you use the throttle, of course. If, of course, if you pedal um, a lot and use it at a lower, uh, a lower assist, you can go much farther. If you go straight throttle, you're not gonna get as much out of it, maybe, but you can still probably get maybe up to 20 miles, uh, even with just going straight throttle. So it's pretty good capacity. Now, suppose you wanna go farther. Well, there's different things you can do. Uh, you can get more amp hours. That's often what people do. You can get a bigger amp hour battery. We're going to offer one that instead of 10.4 uh, will be 14 amp hours. So that's a lot more battery. That's uh, almost 50% more battery uh, and more range, more capacity. So, uh, but another thing you can do is bring another battery with you. You can uh, just bring, one, bring an extra battery with you. It's not a bad idea at all. Uh, they don't weigh you know, a whole lot extra, especially when you're talking about e-bike, which already weighs more than a regular bike and is giving you assist. Okay, um, so you could strap it to the top here or you could have panniers and, uh, and bring another battery with you. And obviously another battery would double your range. Um, so your range is directly, is directly correlated to the amp hours of the battery, also uh, watt hours. But once you bring in watt hours, you're also bringing the voltage. So obviously if you have a more powerful, more power, like a 52 volt, that's gonna suck up the energy faster because you're using more of it more quickly. But once you get up to speed, it kind of evens out because, uh, you, uh, because you, have a, you have inertia going for you, momentum. So anyway, that is the basic story of about how much battery do you need? How, how much battery do you need? Like I said, this is a 500 watt hour battery. That will get you anywhere from about 20 to 40 miles, depending on how much throttle you use, how much pedaling, how much you weigh, hills, uh, road conditions, wind, etc. cetera. Um, if you need more than that, then, then get more battery. You may not need more voltage, you may not need more power than say 48 volts. In fact, 36 volts might be good for you, but you could get a 14 amp hour battery, you could get an 18 amp hour, hour battery, you could get two batteries that are 14. Uh, so that's, that's one, one, one good way to gauge how much battery you need. The best way to figure it out is to go ahead and get your e-bike and get on it and start riding because everyone is different and everyone's going to get different range because they're gonna ride different places, they weigh different amounts, uh, they may be starting and stopping a lot or just going steady state, uh, it, you know, maybe windy or not. So anyway, get on your e-bike and ride, kind of figure out what your range is with your battery. You'll start to understand it intuitively. 
and your range anxiety will go away. And then if you need more battery, you can get more battery. You can either get a bigger one or just buy, um, you know, instead of replacing the, the one that you have, get an extra one and carry it with you. Okay, so basically amp hours and also watt hours relate to your, your range and how much battery you need. Where do we start? With power, that's right. So this power won't corrupt you. This will make your life better and improve everything in your life, including your relationships, your health, your psychology, your emotional well-being, and also the plant that we live on. Have fun. I truly hope that that was helpful for you. If you liked it, please do like it and hit subscribe. It helps grow our channel. And if you need any help at all, please contact us. You can call us at 310-982-2877 or email us at theteam at 630.com. Remember, 630 is spelled out, S-I-X-T-H-R-E-E-Z-E-R-O. The team at 630.com. Thanks.